Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm back with another vlog. So today on agenda, just the preparations for my kids' upcoming birthday and just running some errands. So if you want to see how this day goes for us, then please stay tuned. But before I continue with today's video, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor for today's vlog. It's the brand Dacia. As you guys know, I work with Dacia Perfumes uh, for many months now and I absolutely adore their brand. And as you guys know, I love wearing their fragrances. They uh, stay on me all day long. I love the fact that they have very affordable price points and you get a lot of perfume, very high quality perfume for very affordable prices. So recently Dacia Perfumes have uh, new products in their line. They came up with this uh, room diffuser and I got their new box right here this is how it looks when you receive it in the mail and when you open it up you get this short message from the brand and you also get this card that tells you a little bit more about the particular scent that you got so this one is the Embry cherry notes uh, top notes are cherry almond and cinnamon uh, they're going to have a, a whole range of uh, different fragrances for their uh, room diffuser line and this is basically how it looks you get this fragrance right here and you get this uh, wooden sticks. This is a very large 100 milliliters bottle. It's going to last you a very long time. So setup is super easy. All you need to do is just open this uh, cap right here and remove this uh, protector right here. And after that's done, you just basically put this cap back and you put this wooden sticks in there. What I like to do is just basically move them around a little bit and kind of get the scent going. Then I flip them over and I put them in this uh, fragrance with the other side. And then I arrange these sticks like this. And throughout the next few days they will kind of absorb uh, this fragrance and uh, you will smell it throughout your whole house. I love this particular fragrance because it's not super fruity or super flowery. You can definitely scent some cherry and i really like that so i'm going to post the links down below please check them out guys and now back to the video so in about an hour i need to take Cairo to school for some testing because right now he is homeschooling and his teacher asked me to bring him in for a couple of uh, tests and then i also ordered some invitations from walgreens i need to pick them up later so stuff like this but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and start having my lunch I have a little bit of leftovers uh, from yesterday. Me, Preston, and the kids went to um, some Mediterranean place yesterday and we had a lovely lunch together. So I still have some leftovers for today and that's what I'm having for lunch. So this is what I'm having. This is the salad. This is like a, there's some tomatoes inside of there as well. And also I'll have some uh, rice and uh, chicken kebab left. And I'm just gonna eat it with this tzatziki sauce. And then I also have some leftover Starbucks from yesterday. So this is pretty much my lunch today. Now after lunch, I need to make a couple of um, orders. So someone ordered uh, this positive affirmations in the mom affirmations glass can. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those. Those are going to be so cute. I cannot wait to see them. So my heat press just preheated. I'm going to start working on this first one. I'm gonna start this timer on the side and then I'm gonna turn it a couple of times and then I'm going to start working on the second one pretty soon as well. So these glass cans are ready. I'm just waiting for them to cool down. This one is almost cool and this one is completely hot. So this is how they turn out. So this one is the positive self-love. This is one of my favorite ones. And I also got the second one. This one is the uh, mom daily affirmations. And it's going to be a perfect gift for Mother's Day. This little thank you card is also ready. I'm just going to wait for them to cool down and I'm going to package them up. So we just came to pick up Xavier from school. He's almost done. And me and Kyra just hanging out in the car. Kyra's having a lollipop. And then we picked up some invitations for their birthday. So while I'm here waiting, I just want to show it to you. So this is how the invitation mm -hmm. looks like. They're so cute. I think 
Um, they were super easy to make. I just ordered them on Etsy and I edited them in Canva. Uh, so now for my kid's birthday, I decided to make their uh, t-shirts. And I picked up these two t-shirts from Michaels. This one is an extra small and this one is in small for Xavier. They look kind of wide, so... I, I'm hoping that they're gonna be okay. The theme for my kid's birthday party is gonna be Mario Brothers. So I'm, uh, I found the design on Etsy that I purchased and I created birthday invitations with these designs. So I decided to use the same design, uh, just like rearrange some pictures because uh, you can edit that design in Canva. So I rearranged some stuff and I designed the t-shirts. Um, from the same picture so I wanted to show it to you so in Canva I just rearranged all the pictures I put this uh, big um, number seven and I just put their names in there so and I also made this background transparent so now I imported these two pictures in my DTF printer uh, software and I'm gonna print two of these pictures so one that says Xavier and one says Cairo I made them about eight inches wide but we'll see I'm gonna print them out and I'm gonna see how they look. So first of all, I need, I forgot to mirror these images and now I'm going to press the rip button. It's asking me some questions. I'm just gonna press confirm and it should start printing right about now. So I just printed this picture out. I'm going to apply this adhesive powder and I'm gonna bake it in this DTF printer. The first picture is already ready. You can see it has this um, shiny glue on the back of it and it's ready to be pressed. So I'm going to get a little bit of this powder and kind of roll it back and forth to cover the whole picture. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. Now I'm preheating the heat press. So the first t-shirt is going to be for Xavier. I already kind of put it down and figured out where the design is going to be placed. So once it's at 320 degrees i'm going to press it so i'm going to cover it with this protective paper and it will be ready to be pressed for 40 seconds all right it's ready to go and this heat presses um has this automatic setting so it means that once the countdown is off um is down to zero it's going to automatically lift up which is pretty cool, so you don't have to worry about burning the garment. And then will be time for Kairos t-shirt. Alright, this one is done. So I'm going to let it cool because it's supposed to be a cool peel. So once it's completely cool, I'm going to peel it off. And then I'm going to press like one more time to assure that it sticks to it and gets the texture of the fabric. It's been a couple minutes. Well, it's been like five minutes. I'm gonna try to peel it off. Let's see. All right, so it looks good already, but I'm gonna press it one more time just to Kind of like make it texture of the fabric blend a little better. I'm gonna cover it one more time with this protective sheet and just for probably about 20 seconds or so. So if you want to stop this heat press at any time, just press any button. So I'm gonna press this one, and I think that is good to go. So my first t-shirt is ready. It looks so cute. I'm gonna start on the second one.